Hi, I'm here today with Carl Spiritus. He's a wonderful young man who I've come to know through the photography industry and uh, he's actually writing a book at the moment as well with, with so much inspiration to inspire others. Uh, he's quite young. You're in your mid-twenties, right, Carl? Yeah, yeah, well, 27, go, going, going down the far end. Yeah, yeah. well, <laughs> you, you know what? Um, you'll realize that age is nothing but a number with time. Exactly. But it's great that you're inspired to inspire other young people yes. with, with your viewpoints and your life experience. And you've had a very rich life in terms of different experiences. Yeah. So yeah. talk to us a little bit about your passion and inspiration behind writing the book that you're currently writing. Yeah, so I guess uh, one of the biggest passions behind it is to do my part and pay it forward. I mean, I had a lot of heroes in my life, a lot of people there to you know, save me at the right time to really look after me and invest a lot of time and energy and love into me. Right. And I really want to be able to pay that forward. Mm. Um, you know, and I, you know, earlier in this year when I was asking myself, you know, what can I do that's going to align with me, with my time on the surf? You know, sure. I've, I've had, um, I've been extremely ill and have had, have had extreme surgeries um, in my young life. So I, I kind of understand what's on the other side. Um, you know, probably intends to start off with, but you know, I, I've, I've held my grandfather's hand um, as he took his last breath, so I know what's on the other side. I, I understand what's on the other side. Sure. I understand the direction we're all heading to. On a positive note, I want to be able to do what aligns with me most importantly, my role on this planet, you know, now. So I want to get stuck in now. I don't want to, you know, and, and, and it's fine for people that find their passion and their purpose later on. Yeah. I just realized from a young age, I want to get stuck into the work that really characterizes my soul mm. and really, you know, makes me passionate and then it's work that's coming from the heart. Yeah. You know? And you do that so well. You do that great with your photography and, you know, the time capsules that you do with the, you know, yes. older people in our community. Yeah. And then now with your book to share this knowledge or this experience. And what I love about your work, Carl, is as you said, you held your grandfather's hand as he was, you know, transitioning. And, and, and passing and, and it's, it's quite honourable because I think at this time in our life we spend a lot of time to embrace and celebrate life in birth yep. or at birth with yes. you know new human yeah. beings coming to earth like you congratulations thank you I've just yes. had mine six weeks ago yeah yeah and, um, and so the on the other side of that spectrum is honouring and spending time to celebrate life as we watch loved ones passing Yes. And making that, and, and, and that's a very core element, I think, that humanity needs to recognize. Yeah. Um, and, and not miss out on that opportunity to embrace the yeah. life and embrace the loved ones that we have with their hands as they're, as they're moving forward. Yes. Um, through, through their, perhaps, the other side of the journey. Yeah. Um, and so, well done that you're doing that. Now, talk to us about the working title for your book. Is it Decide Your Destiny? Yeah, correct. So, yeah. Decide Your Destiny was something that my grandfather said to me. Um, you know, so I grew up with my grandparents, and my grandparents were basically like parents to me. They were, they were a really big influence in my life. Sure. They looked after me, and they were there for me during you know, some of the hardest times of my life. And I was just sitting there one day with my grandfather, and we are just sitting on the couch, and you know, he's, he's an architect, so he's designed his, his property. And, you know, there was this, he's got the, the blinds and the kind of the, the outside world comes into his house, how he's designed right. it. Um, and the sun was just kind of, you know, he was sun-kissed on the side. The sun was kind of stroking across his face. And he just turned to me and he just said, decide your destiny, you know. And Lovely. it was just so, how he said it was just so, it's like pulled me into that moment it just well, speaking to your soul really yeah. he's speaking more yes than just to kyle the the human he's speaking to the being part yeah. of kyle isn't he yeah and we weren't having a conversation about anything we weren't talking about philosophy he was just sitting there smiling you know, and he's a very observing person so he observes his own life he's probably just observing something and he just had a smile and maybe you just went this is the one thing i can give to him mm. and he just looked at me and said decide your soul and he said make sure in your life uh, decide your destiny make sure in your life that you decide your destiny yeah and I think that's one of the richest philosophies totally that I've ever been given and it, it's, usually, it's just another way of living you know because you can live as a victim you, you know I, you know I had some abuse when I was a bit younger I had a whole lot of things that I went through and I could easily like anybody mm. we can all be candidates for yeah. victimhood yeah, yeah. you know so you can, you can choose that way of living you can choose 
the fearful way of living, you can choose the worry way of living. But he said, choose the decide your destiny way of living. Well, on so many different levels, and I've, I've worked with people from different angles on healing, psychology, philosophy, spirituality, all sorts of different things for me as, as a person that receives that so I can yeah. heal within my own right. And then on the other side as a mentor and helping others as well. And, and I think it's such a powerful title. Yeah. One, because of the context of where it came from, from your grandfather. You could think maybe that was the gift, yes. is the title of your book. Yeah. It could also be the gift of making a decision to focus on deciding what your destiny looks like. Yes. Because in, in my mind, from a spiritual point of view, we are created in the image of the creator, yes. which means that we can create our own life and decide our destiny yes. if we focus on deciding our destiny. Yeah. And of course, like you said, there are other people that are going through different processes and if they're stuck in a, a certain time in their life where they're moaning or groaning or grieving or sad or whatever else it doesn't have to define them no. but it is the mentality that they've fallen victim to yeah. and they can then choose to decide to be the victor of that and utilize that experience yes to propel themselves forward exactly. to a better life and, we, and we'll do that over and over again in our lives you know we We'll go, we'll, you know, life has challenges and it has ups and downs and yes. has different things it's going to throw at us. And, you know, you will need to continue to yeah. decide your destiny. You and know, you've done that with your health, right? Which yeah. is part of your inspiration in doing the book and sharing that story. Yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's, not a, um, it's not a story that, that many people would have, would have taken or an option many people have taken in, sure. in my position. And I was lucky enough, a big, a big section in my book is heroes so it's the heroes that were in my life you know and, and having a stepfather who kind of came in at the right time and said hey there's these two options you can go in your very um you know i guess like sort of sensitive situation yeah um here they are here's your options you're given them you decide so again decide Perfect. your destiny and so i just went look i don't know a whole lot about this field i don't know if i believe in it i'm straight out of school you know, rugby sort of brain, you know, a bit of a buff head, um, you know, but look, I trust you as a man. So let's, let's give this a good crack. Wonderful. Um, and it was a big risk that I took at the time. It was a big, big risk. Um, you know, I had, a, I had a bug that was kind of eating a, a part of, um, a really important part of my organ, uh, like an important organ in my body. And, you know, he just said, let's give this, this diet a go. Let's, let's starve it from having any sugar, any carbohydrate, anything to kind of feed itself on yeah. and then starve it out of the body yeah and i guess i you know i was like anybody at home or anybody who's i guess a non-believer or or thinks this might be woo woo that I you was, can heal yourself naturally right? yeah that you can heal yourself naturally that god that thing that people have been doing for centuries and centuries yeah that that's actually a thing but you know so i i was like everybody just going all right you know i'll give this a go yes but because i believed and i think i believed in him and i went if I'm going to give it a go, I'm the type of person, if I'm going to give it a go, I'm not going to give it a 20% go, 60% go. You know, I'm going to give it a 100% go. And so I, wholehearted instead wholehearted. of half-hearted. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So, so I did the sort of, you know, beetroot juices every day, salads. Um, I, you know, did meditations, did visualizations, yep. said heal, heal, listen to, um, my grandmother had tapes, you know, yeah. real Beautiful. old-fashioned tapes about valleys and peaks. Oh my God, there's so many valleys and peaks I uh, listened to. Yeah. You know, didn't have any electronic device near me at the time. Right. Um, spent those weeks in the hospital. It becomes a way of life. Yeah. Just as they say, success is a, like a way of life. Health is a way of life. Exactly. But you know what I think is profound about your story is there are a lot of rarities amongst the rarities in the rarities yes. of your situation. So how rare is it to get this kind of bacteria in that particular organ? Uh, What's the percentage? Well, the doctor said it's a one in a billion chance. One in a billion. And they said um, they 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 went they got it down to eight probabilities. Yep. And they said we can't, we don't have enough like you know I guess evidence or reason to put it into one of these things. Yeah. We're just going to have to tell you that it's just you know you're unlucky. Yeah. But so I turned that into luck. Great. But yeah. well, it'd be right because you're one in a billion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 about contrast well, and and, yeah. and how you decide yes. to switch that destiny of yours. Exactly. Uh, so you you have a one in a billion chance to 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 win the lottery as well. Yes. And and that could very well be the case, right? Yeah. You won the lottery of life at least in that situation. Yes. Yeah. And so was there other rarities in terms of like uh, the perhaps the potential survival uh, if you went through the normal medical operation method um, that you improved by doing what you did as well? 
Uh, yeah, so the, the medical option that I had at the time was to kind of cut that part of the organ completely off. Yep. And that was really going to impact the rest of my life yep. pretty negatively. Sure. So I, I, my, my you know, investing was to try the natural way first. Yes. And which is something, you know, I've, I've traveled to Peru since and that's how Peruvians believe they okay. could try the natural way first. Perfect. And then if that doesn't work, seek the medical advice. Sure. And I'm not, you know, disclaimer, not giving any advice, no. but I'm just saying this is how I approached my own health decision. I think it's sage advice to try the natural way before you cut any part of your body. Yes. Right? Yeah. Um, and I mean, it makes sense. If I broke a leg, I'd want to go to the hospital and get the modern yeah. hospital sort of approach. Yeah. yeah. Um, I wouldn't muck, muck around with that broken no. leg. But if, if, for example, if it's a bug or if it's something that can... Uh, influence having an operation that cuts out a major organ in our body out, yeah. uh, then you'd want to look at natural Because you need all that good stuff in your body. Exactly. You well, know. there's a reason it was there in the yeah. first place. Yeah. So, so I love your story and I love your passion and enthusiasm. And I want to I wanna just take this in a slightly uh, different approach here in a second before I tell everyone how they can connect with you and learn more about your book once it's released, yes. once it's launched. I just want to say that I praise the idea of the heroes, and I know you have a hero section in your book about the people that yeah. guided you or helped you or were there for you. Yes. And I think we all have the opportunity to decide our destiny to be a hero. Yes. In yes. whichever way you want to term that. Now, I don't, I don't want to go out and save the world, yeah. but if there's some obstacle or challenge that I've overcome in my own life and my own right, yeah. and I've found some reasons or natural resources or whatever, and I've become a better man for it, my version of hero is then I decide to share it with others. Yeah. That to me is an everyday hero. Exactly. So I'm actually doing a documentary about that and I think you'd be a perfect candidate for that. Oh, awesome. To share your story yeah. and, and to share how you became a hero through your journey and how you're now disseminating and sharing that information with others. Thanks, so, so you're welcome. Yeah. And it'd be my actual privilege and honor to have you on board to, to help with that documentary and to be part of it. Yeah. So I want to ask you, Carl, how can people connect with you find your book once it's ready to launch? Do you have a website and um, other methods of people to connect with you? Yes, yeah, so um, before, before we get into that, what I just sure. want to say to add to what you said, yeah. that whole heroes and becoming your own hero, yeah. it doesn't have to be a esoteric or a, um, a Marvel sort of view. It can sure. be a single mother who's looking after her kids or a teacher or a doctor who's holding up the Hippocratic Oath or yeah. whoever those heroes are. You know, those little things that you do in your day, the people's lives that you can save. You know, you can save someone's life with just a bit of advice, just a bit of help, just a bit of comfort. Sharing your story, yeah. even. sharing yeah. your success story. And yeah. I don't call them single mothers, I actually call them super mothers. Because yes. they're yeah. so yeah. brilliant. Quite right. Not yeah. to take away from mothers that have a partner, yeah. but we know that the single mothers are super mothers because they don't have all that extra support exactly. all the time. You know, yeah. they've got to do everything. They've got to be mum and dad yes. most of the time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I love what you're saying. I totally resonate with it. Now I want people that resonate with you to find you. Yes. How can they connect with you? Awesome. So um, if you go online, carlsprudies.com, that's where I'm going to be um, selling the book on. Beautiful. And you can find me on YouTube as Carl Sprudies and Instagram, Carl Sprudies. So that's K-Y-L-E, and then the last name is a bit tricky, S-P-Y-R-I-D-E-S. So Spy Rides. Yeah, well, I mean, I think of it as Spy Rides, almost like Spirit Rider. Oh, know? there we go, yeah. Spirit <laughs> spy, Rider, yeah, spirit okay. Rider. We'll Like riding one. the waves of life, the peaks and the valleys. Yes, exactly. Now, there's also something else that I'd be completely remissant if I didn't mention it. You're yep. an incredible photographer, absolutely artistic. Thanks, and I appreciate that. You've designed your destiny or decided your destiny through that sharing, that beauty that you capture through the lens. And you've recently done that for me and for Health Australia Party, yes. the candidates photography. Yep. So how can people connect with you on that? If they want team photos, yep. corporate photos, what, what's the best way to find you there? Yeah, so my, my business is Soul Gazing Photography. Beautiful. So um, you, know, you can find me at soulgazingphotography.com or on Instagram, Soul Gazing Photography. And I mean, that name really came out of capturing the essence and capturing the soul yeah. of my grandparents, of the family around the house. And that was when I really started getting to photography is the portraits and capturing people, yeah, capturing yeah. their soul and their essence. That was really important for me. Absolutely. Look, I think life is about the gift, which is why we call right now the present. Yes. It's the gift of the now, the presence of being present. Yep. And I think you're amazing. You're really gifted at capturing 
that present moment. Yes. You know, yeah. I'm making you blush here, oh, no, but no, no. but that's because you that. are a soulful person, and and you're, yes. you're you're this creative, intelligent being that can actually capture the essence of the moment. Yeah. And I think that's really rare, yes. and it's it's beautiful to see. And I yeah. commend you on that work. Thank you, mate. And I was given the room by my grandparents to explore that. Right. You know, I wasn't indoctrinated or forced or pushed into anything. I was right. given that room by my grandparents um, to kind of explore that and go, what do you want to do? What do you want to decide? Mm-hmm. What do you want to, you know? And I, you know, I had the open playing field and the blank canvas to kind of design. Beautiful. To that sort of future that I wanted. Well, that's really good advice for parents out there. I'm a young parent myself, and I think it's really important to allow your children to grow into doing what makes their soul sing. Yes. You know, and so thank you for doing what makes your soul sing. Yes. Thank you for watching, and please do connect with Carl. He's a decent man and a brilliant photographer, and look out for his book that's to come, Decide Your Destiny.